Hi, I'm Jeff from Krav Maga Western Sydney here in Penrith. What we're doing is formulating a set of guidelines to assist you, um, to assist self-defence practitioners in regards to laws in New South Wales and the changes which are, are about to occur. One of our team members, Paul Mazurkovic, is a criminal law specialist. Um, he has worked for over 25 years and was also a law enforcement officer. So he has this, an extensive background in law, but on top of all of that, he's in the gym with us daily fighting. So he knows where we're coming from. So he has that unique perspective in that he understands the system, yet he also understands where we're coming from. So without further ado, I'll hand you over to Paul, and Paul will be able to give you some information that you really need to know and really need to think about. In our society, there's rules that regulate our conduct. This includes things like defending ourselves and our families. Many of us spend countless hours each year drilling moves, learning to fight, and also a lot of money on tuition. But what I want to know is how many of us think about how those rules might impact upon us if we go to defend ourselves or our loved ones. And what I want to know is who's going to defend you, who's going to defend your family if you're in jail. To understand the laws of self-defence, it's my view that the easiest way is to explain it by way of the escalation of violence. And basically I've described this as two halves, non-physical and also physical. So we can see on the non-physical side, um, it can be, it can include at the start of a confrontation things like facial expression, body language, verbal abuse, invasion of personal space. We then have a, a midpoint where it then goes physical with people doing things like touching, pushing, seizing, grappling, wrestling, striking, or just a blunt use of force in any way possible. To understand self-defence in a starting point, what I would say to everyone is the lower on the escalation of violence graph the initial threat is, the harder it's going to be for you to explain a, a response which is up the higher end of the escalation of violence. So generally, uh, when we're talking about self-defence, things must be reasonable and they must be proximate. So it's very hard to explain if somebody is um, uh, pulling a face at you or has an angry facial expression that you respond by striking or punching them. Now I'm not saying it's impossible to argue that in court but you're certainly putting yourself behind the eight ball. Next week what we will talk about is the actual law, case law and also statute law which regulates the laws of self-defence in this state. Thank you.